The drink person is very visible in the restaurant. You must be contentious of your appearance and avoid touching your hair and face. If this does happen, stop and wash your hands immediately. The drink counter is to be fully stocked above and below. Setup. Before setting up, wipe the counter with Quat 10 and warm water. Set up three stacks of large and three stacks of regular cups, two boxes of straws, one stack of coffee cups, and three stacks of gravy cups with lids. Plug in the gravy pot, fill it with gravy, and stock the cheese curds. On top of the coffee machine, set up the box of tea, coffee bags, and filters. Place a bowl of milk packages and creamers in the water fridge. Fill the trough with pop lids in the three large sections, sugar, sweetener, teaspoons, coffee lids, and a J-cloth moist with Quat 10. Procedure. If one person is scheduled for drinks, they are responsible for placing the bill into the box with the corresponding number of napkins onto the customer counter, pouring the ordered beverage and placing the poured drinks into the correct box. The key to you staying ahead on drinks is pouring drinks for multiple orders at one time. The same goes for carrying the drinks. Four drinks can be carried at a time. Avoid missing any drinks by double-checking the bottom half of the bill, which is obstructed by the carryout box. Our pop and orange juice does not require the addition of ice cubes as it is already cool through the lines. As a result, the ice bin needs to be full at all times. And if you notice that the pop feels warm, move the ice around with a scoop as an ice pocket has formed. Iced tea, lemonade, and cranberry juice need to have ice added to the cup. Our coffee is served black with cream, milk, sugar, and a spoon on the side. To prepare poutine, notify the French fry station how many orders of fries you need. Once the 16-ounce box of fries is delivered to the drink counter, add one scoop of cheese curds and press them firmly into the fries. Cover them with one scoop of hot gravy and place them into the carryout box on the customer counter. When two people are scheduled for drinks, one person calls out the drink orders and carries them over to the proper boxes. The second person is required to pour the drinks, stock product, and maintain a clean area. Communication is the key to success when two people are on drinks. Here are some tips to help you avoid some possible problems. Always maintain a balance of poured drinks to bills up on the customer counter. Too many poured drinks can result in customers receiving a warm beverage. The shake machine can freeze up, so check the shake levels in the front fridge, ensure the canister cover is on, and the plug under the bun rack is secured. If you run out of pop, milk, gravy, cheese curds, or coffee, request your back teammate to fill it up. Things to remember. Engage the customer in conversation. Smile and make eye contact. Always be looking for something to do. Sweep, help on cash, help on fries, or jump out on orders.